If you could smell what I'm smelling right now, your mind would be blown. Hello and welcome to another installment of Korean Eats. It is about quarter to 12. After a good night of shopping in the Dongdaemun night market, I've decided to take a break. Although Korea is known for having many, many dessert cafes which cater simply to people who are wishing to get a nice sweet snack with their coffee any time of day or night, I have gone with a much cheaper option of buying my dessert from the local 7-Eleven. I have some super red tomato jelly and some Denmark milk drinking yogurt pomegranate flavour. Some pretty interesting flavours here for these particular desserts. This literally says Supure de tomato and that is what we call Konglish where it is an English word which is represented in Korean Hangul alphabet character. And the same goes for drinking yogurt. Drinking yogurt. And that there, Sokryo, means pomegranate. And let's get started. I got my complimentary spoon here. I have my super red tomato jelly. Let's see what it's like. Surprisingly hard to get the packet open. Oh, look at that. Oozing out. Mmm. Jelly. Nice. If you could smell what I'm smelling right now, your mind would be blown. Maybe you saw tomato juice and you thought, it's too much. But Korea saw it and thought, that's not enough. How we go? Have a look at this. Tomato jelly. Ah. Oh. So appetizing, isn't it? Let's have a go. That's good. I would say it is very difficult to eat this though. I mean, it's jelly. Jelly is always kind of difficult to eat, but they give you this little plastic spoon. Maybe next time I'll bring my own spoon. You should never leave home without a spoon. As you can see, there are some actual tomatoes in this jelly. There we go, there they are. They've clearly been peeled. The flavour of the tomato is not really equally distributed throughout the whole jelly. There's some bits which are just jelly flavoured, some bits which are tomato flavoured. I'm really enjoying this. It should be noted that I am a big fan of tomato. Some people say I have a problem. I finally hit the tomatoes themselves. This is so exciting. Ah, oh, look at that. Actual tomato covered in jelly. Back when you woke up this morning, you didn't think you'd see that. Mmm. I love it when the tomato explodes in my mouth. The last few bits are quite runny, so... Excuse me. Mmm, good tomato. Only thing that to do now is follow it up with some Dudding King Yogurt. Just like any milk carton, put it apart the side, push it like so. There we go. It's open now. Pretty tasty. I'm only sensing a little bit of pomegranate here. I'm getting a, a, a strong flavour of milky yogurt, a slight flavour of pomegranate, like it's, it's mild pomegranate flavour. It could almost be strawberry or cherry, just like indescript red fruit. It is tasty though and very filling and soothing on the throat which is spent all evening haggling with, with market salespeople. Nice. Thank you very much, Denmark Milk. Well there you have it. Finished. I'm satisfied. It was tasty. We've got our super red tomato here, tomato jelly. Comes in many other flavours. And our Denmark Milk drinking yogurt which also comes in many flavours. I would rate them both definitely a buy. Really great for a post convenience store meal dessert, cheaper than a dessert cafe. Altogether this cost me 2,500 won, which is somewhere in the region of £1.25. Pretty good value for what you get. That was kind of a meal in itself. Thanks for watching as always and good night.